Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol T-E-A-R. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually just today's price action broken down into 30-minute time slices. I like you this time frame. I think that's a good job of telling the quote-unquote story of the price. And then just makes mapping out with levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Absolutely monster move here. Not only from a, a price action perspective, but also volume. I mean, volume was... Uh, just huge, especially when you compare it to you know what the chart is used to. I mean, the amount of volume that it got today made it look like this chart's never had volume before. So uh, great day from both, like I said, the price and volume perspective. So let's first start by mapping out some levels of support. Then we can talk about areas of resistance. The ideal level of support going forward, I mean, hey, Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest would be if this level right here at $3.10 can continue to hold. I say continue because you can see late this afternoon, uh, the bears did try to press down through there, but to give credit where credit's due, the bulls did a great job of holding strong. And if that can continue to happen, that would be a, you know, a, a very large sign of strength. Now, don't get me wrong, if the price falls, blow it. By no means am I saying the entire chart's ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price can maintain above there, that would certainly be best case scenario. Next level of support after $3.10, be down there at that point, which sits at $2.80. And then taking a step back and looking at the big picture of things. So if you're somebody that just says, Clay, look, just give me a very simplistic way to measure the health of the move. This right here being defined as the move. So how can we measure the health of that? Just keep an eye on that purple line right there, which is the 50 period simple moving average. Keyword there being moving. So as time goes by, that purple line is gonna continue to move up and up and up. And from the very black and white, uh, simplistic way to look at this, as long as the price stays above that purple line as the purple line moves up, then the bulls are in full control, full health, no questions asked. Now, what about areas of resistance? If this move is going to continue to fight to the upside, where are some of these battlegrounds at? As things stand right now, and I'm just going to focus on one level of resistance, and I'll talk about that in a second, $3.75 is going to be that key point right up there. The reason I'm just focusing on one level of resistance is, in my opinion, breaking levels of resistance, not really the top priority next week. Top priority is just go through some healthy consolidation, build some higher bases, because as long as you have higher bases being built over time, that's how those long-term uptrends are constructed, and the chart will ultimately take care of itself. So no doubt about it, though. Crazy way to end the week. We'll see what the Bulls have in store next week. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.